Okay, now we are going to discuss about preparing uh, for your implementation of the NPSP. So I'm going to discuss uh, my experience when we were implementing NPSP on our nonprofit org. So first, define the why. So I'm going to share you why did we chose Salesforce. And of course, with Salesforce, um, it came with the NPSP. So before we bring in consultants to help us migrating our CRM from Siebel CRM to Salesforce, we have compared several other big CRMs. So why did we end up choosing Salesforce with NPSP? The biggest factor is the number of organizations that are already using the Salesforce CRM. That always helps with any other um, situation or decision making when you choose a solution, the more organization or the more people that using the same platform or solution, the more easier your path will be. Why? Because when you want to solve a problem or answer a question, most likely it has already been answered by some other organization that was requiring the same or a similar um, solution for what you are looking for. So Salesforce comes big in favor in that particular area because it has been used by a lot of organizations for profits and non-profits, both sectors. So whenever we are um, wanting to have an answer, all I do as an admin or developer or architect is first do some research googling on the internet and most likely some other organization who have similar needs already come across this need that we have and they already have a solution that they are sharing on the internet on the community forum just some blogger sharing the solution because Salesforce is so widely used, even back then in 2014, now even more in 2020, it's just so easy for you to find an answer to a problem that somebody else has already solved for, for your need. So that is a big, big win um, in choosing or defining why would we wanna use Salesforce, right? So it's very um, um, time, uh, it saves you a lot of time because when you need an answer, you can research on the internet and almost every single time there has already been an answer for your solution. So that is a big, big, big win. So that is the big why. Uh, did we uh, choose Salesforce for the nonprofit organization that I am working for? All right, so let's move on. So when you have decided, say you've decided you've done uh, you've done your research comparison, and you're just um, all in, and you already decided why you want to use Salesforce. So what are the steps to start migrating? Well. For us, back then in 2014, we did hire a consulting firm that is specialized in nonprofit um, orgs, and they help us design and move uh, from Siebel CRM into Salesforce because we have zero staff that understands or even knew Salesforce at the time. But now we have me on board, a full-time staff, and I am I'm in charge of administering, developing, designing solutions as an architect um, on the nonprofit organization. So we don't use the consulting firm anymore, but they did help us big time 
um, to jump start our Salesforce journey. So, well, if you have decided to move on, you have to know what you want to do. So you would need to, um, you know, take out your scratch pad and start, you know, drawing stuff, what you want, what you need, fill in some details and all the stuff that you need written down and plan ahead and then map your data to Salesforce objects, all the things that you need to do here, and identify stakeholders to create your project team, take um, everybody on board, and then there's lots and lots and lots of meetings that will happen and needs to happen to make the transition smooth. Define what success looks like and get everyone on board, all the managers, the executive director, um, the IT people, the you know, and then plan out the whole thing. You know, you've known your current processes, and then you have to know what it will look like on the Salesforce platform. Set the right expectation here. This is important. Be realistic about the the implement the implementation timeline. So for our organization. I would say take a, uh, about one year. That is one year from the time the consultants um, came for the first time and they analyze all our processes on the Siebel CRM and then all the way until rolling out and then training our staff. Um, and yep, yeah, until we are, um, we are actually going to full, full throttle in Salesforce, all in Salesforce, it'll take it it take around one year. So be realistic about the implementation time. You cannot say that you want to switch or implement Salesforce within thirty days. It would um it would create a big mess most likely than something that's really smooth. So you have to be realistic about the implementation time. That's a big one. For us, it takes about a year. Budget enough time for data cleanup and migration, especially if you are going to hire a non-profit uh, consulting firm. It does take a lot of resources for the firm to analyze our current processes and then migrate all of those processes to Salesforce entirely because it takes a long time and they have to take a lot of their resources. They have to have their administrators, their architect to design it, and then they have to have their own developers to develop custom solutions. And it takes um, quite a lot of capital I wouldn't say how much, but it's not cheap. So prepare that. And then also budget for employee time. This is important because when you switch, especially when you switch um, entire CRM into, into Salesforce, the employee will, will, will take time to actually fully understand or adapt the new process on how to do things on Salesforce, you know, so set a time like at least six months for people to start getting used to on the Salesforce platform. In the meantime, the first six months to a year, there will be a lot of questions and a lot of frustration, I would say, like, especially people who is just, you know, they have been using the old platform for 10 years and they are already very used on how things are working in the previous platform. Now suddenly everything looks different. Everything just feels different. Even if it's better, the, the Salesforce platform is way better, but it just looks different. People would just, you know, they can get frustrated and just, how, what happened here? How do you do this? How do you do that? Right? So be prepared uh, for those situations as well. This is also a very important considered a phased approach. So you have to do phase one, do all these steps, 
And then phase two, look at this. This is almost a whole year, right? So this is what happened with our own organization. Literally, it takes all the whole year to implement it and even train. So for everybody to really, really, really get on board and really, really are already flowing, you know, they just knew what to do. Maybe a couple of years, two years, then everybody would really know what to do. So set yourself up for a long-term success. Invest in training for admins. Well, I was the only dude who are in charge, so I am investing in my own time, you know, pulling my hair out. What on earth? How is this working? And I'm just, you know, um, remembering all the frustrations, but it it's worth it. Once you know Salesforce, you yourself who are an admin, you are actually investing this learning curve into your own personal life, not to your not just to your organization. Because when you are uh, familiar and, and have a lot of experience with Salesforce, you can help other organizations, therefore helping yourself to earn more income. Even on the side, um, you know, you can do a, lo a whole lot more, more stuff with your talent there. So invest in training for admins. Do not underestimate the importance for documentation, for real. So if you are the admin, you would need to document stuff. So if you have, um, you know, the situation where you have to leave the current nonprofit organization where you are working for right now, you know, you won't leave everybody in the dark because you, you, you have proper documentation to do a proper handover to the new staff who will be in charge in Salesforce. So consider this is very important as well. Document your processes, document how things work. For me, I like making videos. As you can see, I've made hundreds and hundreds of Salesforce videos. I'm also making the same thing in my organization. I make videos, lots of videos to train staff, also to train new admins. So they know what to do. They know the, the processes I have developed so they will not be in the dark if I have to move on to another, you know, phase in my life, do something else, right? So if if you have all the documentation, you won't be leaving other people, you know, in in the dark. All right, so let's do the quiz. What's the best tool for visualizing the interactions and artifacts from your major processes? Bubblegum, flowchart, yeah, flowchart, not bubblegum diorama. You use the flowchart. Which one is the flowchart? It's this one, right? The one that we saw here is the flowchart, right? Okay, the next one is why is it so important to document the interactions and artifacts from your major organizational processes? It identifies your data needs in detail. It demonstrates how much impact your nonprofit has. It helps your funders understand your mission. It helps you understand how much, oh, no, not this one, for to document the interactions and artifacts from your major organizational processes. I think this one, it identifies your data needs in detail. Data needs, what information do you need to know? For example, for us, if we have a new name, we want to know where do they come from? Where do this new name come from? What triggers this person, this new person to know our nonprofit organization? Did they come to an event? Did somebody else told about this organization? Did they watch um, something on TV? Or did they saw a Facebook post, Instagram post? How did they know? So that's uh, an important information for our organization. So it identifies your data needs. And then what else do you need, right? So that is important how to document the interactions. So that's it. I'll see you on the next video. Bada bing and bada boom. Hit that subscribe button 
and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom